Hey everyone, I'm a 64 Jimbo, and this is Seven Days to Die Alpha 16. Uh, as you can see, it's day 63 in the morning time. This is Horde Day. For those that don't know, it's the Blood Moon. It's on the eve of the Blood Moon Horde. And I'm over here in this town that I dubbed Nearville because it's the closest town to my base. Here's my base, Trader, and Nearville. Here's the uh, aptly named Horde Pit. And I'll show you why. Coming over here, there's just this uh, asphalt hole in the ground. There's nothing else around. But I'll show you the horde base from underneath. It's another spike pit design. A little bit modified with uh, Alpha 16 flare. Here's the entrance. Go down. Gonna turn on my night vision goggles. And here's the bunker that I built. This is the first line of defense, or the middle line of defense rather. A good fallback point should this cage over here fail. We'll go check out the cage first and I'll show you more in the bunker. So, what we've got, I know it doesn't look like much, but Cage848, YouTube's Cage848 showed me this trick, and I guess he got it from Game Edged, who's also a YouTube streamer. They figured out that these uh, pole block defenses, you know, if we just did type in pole, these poles are as strong as the material that they're made out of so in this case steel but it allows for attacks to go through the poles now oddly enough the zombies not even the crawlers can make it through this so it's just going to be a cage full of zombies so to supplement it in the alpha 16 flare we've got these blade traps up above so as the zombies fall through I'm hoping it turns it into a little bit of a blender as they fall through. And then I've got these electric fence posts. i got to be careful when I'm running around here not to zap myself. But uh, it's uh, made a pretty good netting in here. So between the spikes, the blender, and the netting, and of course just the free fall, these zombies really don't stand much of a chance. So going back to the bunker... As you can see, it's just kind of a firing point in case I can either fight from there or I can retreat into here. So I've got some auto turrets set up. And these things are fully loaded. Let me turn on my electrical. Oh yeah, the electrical. I divide it up into three parts. First let's turn it on. So there's the generator my battery bank you may be wondering why this little uh, column inside my base well that's in case you know spitter zombies get a little overzealous so we've got the turrets the lights and the blender and zapper this turns on the electric fence and the fans this, of course, turns on the spotlights out there. And this is for the turrets. Now, I separated the turrets because I may not want them firing all the time and burning through ammo. I could take care of the zombies myself. I also got this shotgun turret up here with 250 rounds just to cover this blind spot here. Otherwise, I can show you the camera view. So it's not great because part of the uh, bunker's blocking the way, but it shows the bottom of the spike pit, and that's what I wanted. Both turrets also cover 
the door, which is really important. So again, this is the last line of defense. Also got this chest here with some supplies, gas, uh, repair items, health, some food. So yeah, we'll have to see how this works. <laughs>